Now, our resident travel writer, Debbie Griffiths, has the tough job of checking out the best holiday destinations. Now, this time, it's your hometown. Yeah, it is. Now, we all know the stunning Mount Maunganui. We know the beaches and the fun you can have in the water. Yeah. But I want to show you some of Tauranga's hidden gems. Now, firstly, Tipuna Quarry Park. This used to be a working quarry. In fact, my dad worked as a truck driver. He'd actually hauled rocks from there wow. way back when, yeah, decades ago. It was a really ugly scar on the hillside just north of Tauranga, but I have watched over the years as volunteers pitched in and they've created this really amazing place to visit. More than 30 pieces of art. You can see the huge Hinueta stone pieces there. Wow. Things Music for well. the kids. Music for the kids. They go nuts on those. There's metallic sculptures, there's small pottery. Plenty of gardens, as you can see, to explore. Walking tracks as well with fantastic views. Right back over the Kaimai Mamaku Ranges, out to Mount Maunganui as well. So every time we go there, we find something completely different and completely yeah. new. It surprises us every time. So well worth a visit. And free at the moment as well, thanks to donations. Hopefully it will remain free. So beautiful. I've spent a bit of time there with the kids as well. You can run them ragged. Yeah. You can spend half the day there. And there's always something, as you say, something new to discover. And any time of year too, summer or winter, it's beautiful. Yeah. But there's also a whole lot of really great walks to do around Tauranga, isn't there? Yeah, we just discovered one the other day. I took the family up the Papamoa Hills Regional Park for the very first time ever you start walking through established pine forest then you break out of the trees to this stunning scenery now at the top you can actually see the remains of an old pass site I've done some research apparently there's about seven pass sites up there as well the summit when you get to the top 224 meters above sea level so take wow. a picnic enjoy the sweeping views all the way around from Mangatapu, all the way around to Mount. You can go, keep going around over the ocean. You can see right the way down to Fakatane coastline, Mount Edgecombe down there as well. It took us about 45 minutes. It's a moderate climb. Okay. The kids could do it as well. And we saw a lot of people running up there, Mel. Really? There you go. Exercise track for you next time you're in Tauranga. That can be for my half marathon training, which I haven't started training for, which I'm doing in November, apparently. Great. Um, yes, more to come on that one. <laughs> it looks beautiful. And there's some, I know there are some waterfalls in the, in the vicinity as well that might be worth checking out as well. Yeah. So you've done the walk slash run mm -hmm. up the hills. You might be needing a soak in a hot pool somewhere. You might be needing a soak, <laughs> especially after all the marathon training you're going to yeah. be doing. Yes. I, I see how I change it to marathon rather than half marathon. Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> now most people who've been to the Mount know about the Mount Hot Pools, yep. of course, they are fabulous. If you want to go somewhere else, maybe somewhere a little bit quieter, try Fernland Spa Mineral Pools. There's a main pool, there are eight private pools, oh, they beautiful. are drained and they are cleaned, refilled daily. They have a constant flow of fresh, natural, thermal, non-chlorinated water in a lush bush setting. So no smelly chlorine. chlorine Absolute bliss. You'll love it there. Oh, that sounds divine. What about children in pools like this? Oh, they had a great time. Take the goggles so they can spend plenty of time under the water. No, I'm thinking about the other people in the pools. Oh. <laughs> in the, in oh, the yeah. bush environment. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a big enough pool that you can go to one end and the adult time they can go to another or one of the eight individual spa pools okay. there as well. That sounds perfect. Yeah. Thanks, Debbie. That sounds like a lot of fun. So there we go. We've got some great insider tips for the next time we head to Tauranga in the beautiful western Bay of Plenty.